Zebra Zebraherd, welcome back to The Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening on the Nintendo Switch. In the last episode, we got started with our adventure, and now we have completed the first dungeon, and everybody's freaking out because somebody stole the poor chain chomp. But before we get to that, there's still a number of other things I want to do in the town, just sort of enjoy ourselves around here. And yeah, first we went to the shop. I really couldn't get anything around there, unfortunately, but hopefully I can keep moving around and find something. I know that we had the crane gain over this way. And I think somebody, yeah, somebody wanted the Yoshi doll from the shop, so we'll try this out now and see if we can't find that, that'd be cool. But yeah, there's lots of like little dilly-dallying we ought to do in today's episode. The trendy game. Trendy game, one play, 10 rupees. Sure. The buttons move the crane, the rest is just timing. Go over to the buttons to play, good luck. So what you have to do, and this is actually laid out a little bit differently. Before everything would move in a square and only the Yoshi was in the center, there's also a heart piece, okay. So what I can do, Oh no, oh no, this is different too. Uh, X to move forward, A to move right. Whoa. Ah, uh, you can only press each button once. Once you let go, you can't move any more forward or any more to the right. Sorry to mess this one, up, this one up, sorry Yoshi. But yeah, there's a Yoshi doll we gotta get. It's sort of weird, but we'll try that again. I have plenty of rupees, and if we get that purple one over there, I'll make my money back. I would like to play the challenge again. Oh, I don't even have to walk up to him. It's so much, oh no. Oh no, I definitely won't get anything. So I gotta be really careful. You can only move each button once. So once you let go, you can't, ah! Move anymore in that direction. Does it fix itself when it's done? I don't know. That's so weird. Okay, I'm not so good at this so far. It's gonna take me a couple tries. Luckily we have a decent chunk of rupees. He's laughing. Okay, that was much better. Ah, but that wasn't so good. Dang, cause it moves so quick. It's tough, ah, uh, Yoshi, get over here. <laughs> ah, and he's toppled over too, that's gonna make it much more difficult. Maybe not, I don't know. Uh, ready? Challenge again, yes. Ah, oh, that might work. That might work. Ah, uh, I got his little toe. No, <laughs> it wasn't enough. I'm not good at this. Okay, ready? Play again, I'm gonna spend all my money in this game. He is gonna be rich just off of me. Perfect, sort of. Yeah, I don't know, I might have to like leave and come back and like reset Yoshi here a bit. I can't get him no more. <laughs> all right, um, I'll back out and I'll come back in and see if I can't get him. Jeez, that's tough. The problem, the really tough part is it does move ever so slightly. Oh, can we get it? Come on, hold on to his big nose. There we go. Ah, no, 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 come on. You're kidding me. Oh, this game's rigged. He's probably covered in like butter or something. But like once you let go, it still does move a little bit. So you have to like preemptively let go of the button. Oh, there we go, we got a good hold on him now. Sorry, Yoshi. Oh. What? No, yeah, okay, we got it, ha <laughs> ha! How about that challenge again? No, let me grab my Yoshi doll. Just give me a holler whenever in the, the mood strikes you to play. I will. Um, I wanna try to grab that purple rupee next, but for right now, we got the Yoshi doll. You can count how many games you've seen him in now, or you can't count. Yeah, okay, he is, he is in a lot of games, isn't he? Trendy game, okay, so. Timing is tough for some of these. I would love to get the heart piece, but I feel like I need to... Oh, that might be good. It might not be good enough, though. Luckily, the roof is pretty small, so it's pretty easy to scoop up, but will it stay in the crane as it's moving back? It might fall out like Yoshi did. Ah, ho, ho, it's moving. Yeah, look at that. So that should actually make me a good chunk of my money back. Uh, For right now, I'll just keep playing now. Good luck. Now the goal is to get the heart piece. Uh, that might not be good enough. We'll try it, of course. Come on. Ooh, it's not closed all the way. Oh no, hold on tight, heart piece. There we go, because we got one heart piece in the last episode. We need to find this one and then two more to get a full heart container. I'm good with that, I don't really need a magic refill. I don't think I need that shield if I already have one exactly like it. Anyways. Like I said before, that is what, 50? Yeah, 50 rupees. That's a decent chunk of our cash back. We're back up to 125, and a heart piece. You got a piece of heart, what a rare find. 
Very cool, I'm happy about that one. There's still more stuff we can poke around with around here though, so that's what I sort of wanna. Whoa, you won the Yoshi doll! We've been trying to do that forever! Our mom is really desperate to have one. Oh yeah, so, I'll talk to you again. Way to go, our mom's gonna be so jealous, huh? Oh, she's probably back at our house, the one up north with the two doors. So yeah, this sort of begins the crazy sort of trading quest in this game. There's like this weird trading quest where you can, you know, I'm gonna give an item to them, they're gonna give an item to me, and then I give that item to another person, and we basically just keep trading items with people, every like main character in the game, for the entire thing, it's crazy, I love it. Anyways, mother's right here. Oh, will you give that Yoshi doll to my baby? Yeah, sure. Oh, thank you, you are indeed a generous person. Ah, I will give you this in return. We get, you were traded, you traded your Yoshi doll for the ribbon. Maybe you can trade the ribbon for something else. Well, do you have any ideas? Do you want it? Yeah, those are my boys. Yeah, okay, nothing nothing new for you. Uh, but yeah, there is one thing we can do, and that is give that to the little Chain Chomp girl, because she said she wanted jewelry and accessories and stuff. I, I think this counts as one, so we'll try that out. I know I haven't been doing a very good job saving this lady's Chain Chomp. We'll be doing that later in today's episode. Might be a bit of a longer one, because I didn't get to everything I should have in the last episode. I was just sort of wanting to move forward. Hello. Makeup, jewels, dresses, I want it all. Oh, that ribbon, I need it. Will you trade it for my dog food? Oh, we can get that to the crocodile guy. Lucky, thanks. Well, here's your dog food. You look wonderful, by the way. You exchanged the ribbon for some dog food. It's full of juicy beef. Cool, see ya. So uh, I guess now we are looking for uh, the crocodile guy. We could do that now, why not? Uh, I don't really remember too much about what else I can do in terms of, uh, what does the music go back to normal here? It does, okay, cool. So we get a little tired of all the stressful music. Um, but yeah, I don't really know too much more of what I need to do. Can I jump up here? I can't, that would be convenient, but I guess not. Now I know I need to go and get Chain Chomp back, but I don't know if there's too many more things I can do in the meantime, like heart pieces and stuff. We'll have to wait and see. Uh, but for right now, oh, also the fishing mini game, that's something. What's that you have? It's canned food. For heaven's sake, man, give that to me, please. I'm gonna lose it if I can't get that can. Yeah, sure. <laughs> oh, thank you, I'll take that. Nice, so are you just gonna eat it up? I thought you were a collector. Oh, maybe you collect them in your tummy. I got it. Ah, hope you enjoyed it. <laughs> that was great, I know it's not a fair trade, but there's some banana, but here's some bananas, yum. Alrighty, well we got some bananas. You gave him dog food and got bananas in return? Good deal. I mean, I guess so. Unless you're a dog, then he might be a bit disappointed. But if you're a monkey, you'd be enthralled. There is a monkey around here, isn't there? Maybe you want the bananas. Hey, buddy. No, you're still just gonna throw coconut. You're just fine with your coconuts. You have more than enough, apparently. And you do have bananas right here, too. So I'm sure you're, you're, you're all filled up with them. Ow. I know I'm supposed to pull my shield up for those guys. I'm just, I guess, slow on the reaction. Oh, yikes. But anyways, yeah, I guess we'll go back up north. We'll at least do the fishing game again. Well, we actually haven't done that yet. I didn't have any money the last time I was over this. That should be fun, I'm looking forward to that. Oh no, my money fell down the pit. That wasn't good. I know, these guys are still freaking out. Back in Mabe Village. We've already fallen down the well, so I don't have to worry about that too much. But I know that there's at least like one heart piece in the mysterious forest we can get as well, so there's like a couple of things we can definitely do. But let's talk to this guy now. Hey, buddy. I bought some fish, little buddy. I'll only charge you 10 rupees. Yeah, sure. Okay, here's how you do it. Hold A and, and release it to cast your line out. The longer you hold it, the farther you'll cast. You can tug on your line by moving L. Uh, if you want to reel it in a hurry, uh, keep tapping A real quick. You've got this, little buddy. Well, thank you for the confidence. So this is fun. <laughs> a little link in the corner. So I need to hold A and I'll launch it super far, maybe a little too far. Uh, but I can pull it back. Oh, okay, it's perfect. And it'll just, if I don't touch anything, it'll keep falling. I guess I wanna start with the little fish first, right? Or maybe I should try to get the big fish. And there's a really big fish right down here. Come on, fishy. Come on. No, wait, oh, I thought he had it. No, he has to bite, I remember now. Come on, try again, try again. Nah, oh, he's not interested. We'll try this guy then. Come on, buddy. You know you want it. Looks good, right? You just gotta wait. 
Oh, there we go, there we go, there we go, there we go! Oh, <laughs> we got him, it's a big one. It's almost bigger than Link is, jeez. You reeled in a big fish, it's so heavy that you wish you'd caught something lighter. Wow, a 27.48 inch, that's a lunker. Nice one, that's worth 20 rupees easy. Oh, we double our money for landing a lunker. I'll set you up with a new lure. Ooh, look at this, we get the middleweight lure. The fish, the fish a little deeper down will love this one. This is the first time you landed one this size, huh? Let's mark the occasion with a piece of heart. Whoa, thank you, that wasn't in the original. So I think they have like extra heart pieces in this one. Uh, press plus to open this up screen and see. So we just need to get one more. Wanna keep going? Uh, let's change the lures. What kind of lure are you going with? So we have the lightweight, which I guess is better for the smaller fish, and the middleweight, which is better for the fish. Okay, well I threw it super far. At this point, I'll let it sort of fall all the way to the bottom, or as low as it will. And I wanna try to get that fish. It looks like there's like a little bottle down here too. Can I grab that? Because bottles weren't in the original. I think they might be in this game. Did I get it? Oh, I did, I did, I did. Oh, that's cool. Come on. I mean, it's not gonna fight me. It's a bottle, so I just gotta keep pulling. No, the other fish got in the way. Whoops, you'll get it next time, buddy. Wanna keep going? Yes. Either that big fish or the bottle are good for me. Come on now. Almost there. I wanna see what this big fish in the bottom has. I mean, maybe he doesn't have anything more than just 20 rupees, but I don't really know. You think with how hidden he is, he'd give me something special. Whoa, that's a big fish! I, 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 I don't know if there, was this in the original? I don't remember. Uh, no, 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 I, 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 I don't want you. There we go, come on, come on. Let's get the big dude. Let's hope this works. I don't know if it will. Come on. He's a big one. He is definitely bigger than Link is, come on. Come on. Come on. Yeah, come on, you're mine, you're mine. Yeah, we got him. <laughs> Don't fall in the water, buddy. It might just drag you under. You're reeled in a big fish. It's so heavy that you wish it cost something lighter again. Wow, a 33.94 inch fish. That's a lunker. Nice one, that's worth 26 rupees easy. Wanna keep going? Okay, I thought that'd give me a little bit more, but I don't know if I should worry about the fish in the, in the seaweed then. Maybe I'll just worry about the bottle. I mean, I already got like a better uh, lore, I've gotten uh, a heart piece. Like, what more can I ask for, really? So we'll try to get closer to... I wish I could make it go lower, but that's just sort of, you have to wait for the thing to sink, really. Come on. I sort of don't wanna grab the fish then. Okay, don't move it any more to the, to the right. Because once you do that, no, 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 hey, leave it alone. Ah, okay, well I guess I'm getting you then. You're mine, you're gonna be easy compared to that big guy. I would hope, oh, you're actually putting up a good fight. Oh, he got me. Wow, that one got away. Yeah, I wanna go. Okay, that went all the way over again. Not exactly what I had intended. Come on now, we can get this. I really wanna get this bottle because that's a big change. That wasn't in the original, or the bottles. I mean, if you don't know, the bottles are pretty useful because you can usually store things that can heal you in them. Okay, I gotta sort of time this so that the, the fish doesn't grab it instead, but that's clearly easier said than done. Okay, dude. All right, I might just have to get him. Then let's get him. I'm tapping a bunch there, that doesn't make any sense. All right, well I might not be able to get it for right now. Uh, nah. Off of shell for now, that's okay. Yeah, we'll, we'll get the bottle at some point, not for now then. If I can't get it, I can't get it, we'll be okay. So for now, I don't know if there's too much more I can do. At the least, I can go into the mysterious forest and figure some stuff out from there and see if we can't get to some new spots. So back into the mysterious forest, I'm looking for one area way to our right um, it was sort of where we found, oh gosh, I'm bad at the game now. I gotta warm back up the parrying. This guy doesn't even see me, I can take the advantage, nice. Um, it wasn't this way. Yeah, that was the way, well actually we could do a little shortcut here, I think. 
Cause it was all this. I don't know if I ever went over here. Okay, cool. Yeah, what is all this? Gagan, Gopanga Swamp, or the Mysterious Forest again. This is a lot of stuff, and there's a little telephone booth. Maybe you can talk to the old man again. Uh, hello? Is there anybody in here? Bring, bring, hello, this is Alrira. Well, most moblins live in the mysterious forest, but some live in the caves of Tall Tall Heights. I hope that is what you wanted to know, click. Just wanted to know the, some directions, okay? I guess that's what all the info I'm getting. So this is interesting, not quite where I needed to go though. This is Gapunga Swamp. Danger, keep out, except Bow Wow. And as you can see, uh, we can go in it but I guess we can't fight any of the enemies very easily. So we're going to go back here, of course, as it said, except Bow Wow, who was, what do you know, who we're gonna go save, so that's perfect. We'll come back to this area later when we need to. Uh, actually, ah, <laughs> not what I meant to do. But actually, this might work out pretty well because, yeah, this is the same place we got the mushroom. The toadstool, whatever it's called. Uh, well, that's perfect, so that we can, uh, what? That was weird. Come on. Nice, tried to get that two hit in, it worked out pretty well. Looking for some extra health here, and all I'm doing is losing more health. But yeah, now we can go back this way. And then shortcut this area to the right. This is where the jump is so amazing. It's like my favorite move in any Zelda game. Oh, ah, get him off, get him off. I don't like that. Oh, there we go, we got some extra power and some extra health. Both will be very helpful. I think we also run a little bit quicker too, which is just perfect. So yeah, we can jump over like this to Koholan Prairie, and we get our fourth heart piece, which means your maximum number of hearts have increased and your health has been filled too. We have five hearts now, which is awesome. And there's not really too many other places I can go, except for the deep below. Um, I think. Well, there is somewhere I can jump over this way. I don't know what this is. Um. Cemetery Ukuku Prairie. Gotcha. I think we need to explore this stuff later though. I think for right now we need to go this way. Excuse me, got places to be. Oh, looks like my thing ran out. That's sort of a shame. Whoop. Tall Tall Heights. Okay, so more moblins. Oh, maybe that's what he's trying to point towards. Hey, you gotta go to Tall Tall Heights to get that while back. The wind fish is name only, for it is neither. Oh, so it's not wind and it's not a fish. All right. Gotta keep that in mind. Eh, who's this suspicious looking run? Okay, boys, let's get rid of him. Oh gosh, this is not good. I heard Bow Wow bark though, he's around here. We're gonna have to go and save him. These are the guys who stole him. Those darn, ah, bandits. Uh, ow, that sort of hurt. Sort of wish I still had my power. That would've been great. Got him. Oh, we get some extra rupees for that guy. Oh, whoa, this guy's huge. It must be an assassin sent by Madame Meow Meow to rescue the mud. You came here to get me, but it is I who will get you. Uh, we'll see about that. That. So I can't get your uh, tummy or anything. You're too tough for that. Maybe I can hit you from behind? You can just sort of block against it. Oh, here we go. Is he charging? Oh, yikes. Come on, slice and dice him. That worked out pretty well. So we need to uh, wait for him to charge. And then we can at least hit him once or twice. I think we got three times that time. So for right now, we'll just hold the shield up. There it is, there it is, there it is. Whoa, he didn't hit it this time. Oh, he's getting smarter. Uh-uh, uh-uh. Nice. Yeah, we got him. Not bad. See ya, buddy. Oh, you gave me a fairy. I really needed that. I'm not doing so good right now. No, come back. <laughs> Almost flew away from me. Oh, and here's Bow Wow. Hey, buddy. Um, you okay? You saved Bow Wow, what a fearsome beast. Well, you, oh, look at this, you're my little friend now. He's so cute. Can we just have him for the rest of the game? He's like following us around, he's our little puppy pal. I guess, I don't know. I think we actually need him to help us get into the next area though. Maybe, maybe we should bring him back to the lady first to sort of see. Uh, whoa, actually, Mr. Owlman might be able to help us. Hello, our old friend. Hoot, this is a fearsome looking animal you have there. Do not forget, the next instrument is in Gapanga Swamp. Hoping for a tiny bit more context, but all right. 
I guess we could just bring him to Gapanga Swamp, see what ends up happening. Oh, hey! Oh, you're new to this game, right, I think? Oh yeah, Dompe, I think. Hey, you made it out here. That speaks well of you. Maybe you can help me out with a little job. I'm Dompe, and my job around this island is to dig up the interesting stuff. When you have some time to spare, come see me in my shack over there. All right, we'll have to keep that in mind. I, I know, I know. Uh, I wanted to read the sign. You're close to Tata Heights. Dompei Shack is nearby. So that's like a whole new thing to the game. This wasn't in the original or the Game Boy remake. So that's interesting. We'll have to check that out at some point. I'm not exactly sure when. I don't know if that's sort of something we should check out after the game. Whoa, he just munched him. There's like a potato chip. My gosh. That was crazy. Mount Tamaranch and Gapanga Swamp. We definitely want to go to Gapanga Swamp, which is right here. Huh. Oh, I just went into a big circle. I can't get past these rocks, so maybe I can't yet. Maybe there is something else I gotta do. I mean, I was able to reach it from the other side, that wasn't I, so I, I, I probably just have to do that then. In the meantime, you wanna munch him? Uh, there he goes, he's just crazy. I love it. I don't think we have to worry about, about anything for the rest of the game as long as we have him around. Okay. Uh, nice, good job. Woof, dig, ruff, ruff, I don't have a shovel. Ooh, you want me to get a shovel? Okay, I'll have to keep that in mind. He tells us where to dig, but I don't have a shovel. Maybe I can get one back to town. Maybe we should just go back to town then and get a couple more things done. Who are you? Mr. Wright, well, I pretty much stick to myself. Me and my letters, my name's Wright. The only thing I don't like about my hobby is that I never receive a response. Oh, poor guy, I'd, I would respond to you. I can't move your stuff though. The little parrot back here, I wanna say hi to the parrot. This the whole room is like so full of stuff. Uh, can I talk to you from here? That's it, all the same info though. Okay, excuse me. I got places to be, I'm stuck. Oh, this is not good. Get me out of here. Uh, you wanna move over here then? I'm like properly stuck. Oh no. Help. Let me out of here. <laughs> Come on. No, I'm like, I, I don't know how to get out of here. The parrots trapped me. All right, the parrot finally let me out. That was scary. I was like, oh gosh, I didn't save. Huh. So you know what? Yeah, there might be a shovel around. Will you tell me to dig here again? You won't. Oh, there it goes. Woof, dig, woof. Or roof, whatever. Um, But yeah, I guess the best thing for that is just to run back. I don't think I can get this one heart piece in here. Yeah, I need to be able to push things around. Oh no, I did this wrong. All right, well, you know what? I'm gonna go back to the, the town and then I'll be back then. So we're back at the village. Everything's nice and peaceful now. So can I like just bring it to the lady? What will she say? Uh, oh, thank you. I'm so happy you brought my baby back. Now would you be a deer and take him for a walk? It would really help me out a lot. You will? Thanks. So I guess he sort of stuck with me for a little bit. Can I talk to you? Yep, 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 yep. <laughs> All right, uh, I can check stuff. Link checked out the dresser. Yep, everything checks out. Uh, is that all that's, it's funny. You just, like, you can check it out, but not really much comes of it. So yeah, I guess now it's just trying to figure out, do I have the shovel or can I get the shovel? Is what I want to know. Also, maybe I could talk to you. Will you, will you say anything new? Now that I've gone to Tall Tall Heights. Bring, bring, yes, is all Ira. The indigestible flowers of Gapanka Swamp. Those flowers are Bawawa's favorite. Why don't you take him for a walk there? Click. All right then, so it looks like, yes, I'm supposed to go to the swamp with Chain Chomp from that one side. We'll do that soon. But if I could get a shovel, because I don't know how long we keep Chain Chomp for. If he's gonna point out things to dig, I wanna be able to dig them up. Oh, you have new stuff now. Yeah. Trendy game, only one, oh, one play equals 10 rupees. All right. We'll try it out. I want to get the, it's it's the person we get the boat to. Or maybe it's a statue of them. Okay, interesting. And we got a seashell, which are important. I think, from what I remember. Let's try to get the seashell first. Ooh, pretty close, but close enough, I'm not sure. Come on. Yeah. Ooh, it was sort of shimmying around there. Almost. What? It like flew out. That was baloney. Not cool. All right, challenge again. I'm not losing that easy, I hope. Oh, this was a good chunk off. Come on. 
Definitely need practice with this crane game. We got it pretty far along before, so please don't just immediately fly out. Oh, bah! oh come on. That's not fair. Come on, one more time, one more time, we got it. That seems as good as I'm gonna get. I don't wanna move forward though. There we go, so if I just tap it really fast, it actually does not move. Oh, that's, no! That's not fair! This game really is rigged. Okay, this time I've gotten it. I'm up to all the game's tricks. All the shenanigans. I probably could have moved it a little bit, but it's hard to control that. Come on, it's on there. Just move a little to the left. Why does it fall out like that? Who knows, but I did get it. I won. I will challenge you again, though, because I want that little chain chomp girl. Oh, no, that is so off. Come on. Nah, not quite. Ooh, I sort of wiggled her a little bit. They have so much more physics now. You know, before they were just pixels on the screen, so it wasn't really too much. Maybe I'll try moving to the right first and then moving up. I don't know if that'll actually help too much. Yeah, oh, maybe. Uh, still a little too high up. Come on. Whoa, thought the game like sort of froze there for a second. It looked weird. Come on. Did we get it? Okay, this one's actually quite easy. Not too bad at all. Thank you, thank you. I do not want to play again. I don't really need any of that other stuff. Because the shield we have and the other stuff is just more magic powder, which we have 13 of. We haven't even used half of it. And there we go, we get ourselves another secret she seashell. Uh, put it to your ear and hear those whispered secrets. Does it actually do that? You got a Chow Chow figure. There must be somewhere you can display it. All right, well, we'll look around for that. And if I leave and come back, will you have new stuff? I don't know. We're gonna find out, excuse me, Chain Chomp. Problem is Chain Chomp like physically gets in the way of some things. You do, but nothing to write home about for now. So I'm gonna leave it. I'm sure maybe later on you'll have some cool new stuff as we complete more of the game. So let's go to the shop. Oh, there's some money. Nice. And let's have a chat with you, sir. Do you have a shovel for me? You do have a shovel and a harpy. 200 rupees for it and 200 rupees for the piece of heart. I'm gonna go for the shovel first then. To do that, I guess I'll just keep getting rupees from this little patch until I have enough money. Alrighty, so now I have the 200 rupees. I just wanna go and get the shovel for now and then we'll be fresh out of rupees for a little bit. I don't wanna do that forever, just enough so that we can get what we need. So we got the deluxe shovel. I'd like to buy this please, deluxe shovel, 200 rupees. Seems expensive, bye. Thanks a lot and come again. Yeah, we got ourselves a deluxe shovel. You got a shovel, now you can feel the joy of digging. All you have to do is set it to X or Y on the subscreen. I will do that once we get outside. And yeah, that's something that can, I think, I used to dig around everywhere because it would just make you a couple extra rupees so I could just you know, keep digging. Occasionally a rupee will pop out. Nobody gets mad that I'm ruining the lawn of everybody's house. But you know what, we'll just keep going back. We're gonna now go all the way back up to the swamp and dig where uh, Bow Wow was getting really excited about and we'll just sort of see what ends up happening. Okay, so it was right around here. If you don't mind moving, buddy. Oh, we found a seashell, that's awesome. So. We need to find out what we gotta do with these eventually. As you can see, he said, but what do you do with it? I don't know. So let's go up here for now. Maybe uh, Bow Wow can continue helping us out a little bit. I know these enemies that look like little funnel cakes or whatever they are. Uh, they will try to steal your sword if you let them get you. So let's try not to let them. Oh, here we go. Something else? Somewhere around here. Uh, where exactly? Oh, over here? Aha, we found it! Very cool. What do you do with it? Beats me. So I'm gonna try... Ah! Oh, there we go, got that rupee, not bad. And we're at Kapanga Swamp, so of, of course it's like before, now we can go with Chain Chomp. I guess that was a big issue, is that before, I couldn't get past these plants. See, they just sort of close up. Chain Chomp, Bow Wow, he'll eat them up no problem. Whoa, what about these ones? I don't know, I don't know. Is he gonna eat them? Oh, he does, no problemo. Wowee, what a champ, ow. 
That hurt. Come on, Chain Chomp, help me out with these fish. I'm not being very kind. Okay, I don't really need to worry about them. I don't know why I am. So let's go this way. Ooh, there's a chest in it for us. Come on. Nice job, you're getting your lunch. So what's inside of this one? We get a purple rupee. That's really gonna help me catch up. We're at 50 more rupees now, 72 in total. That's great. And then we'll go down this way. Can you eat that one up for me? Come on, good job. Trying to be careful of this guy. He's always uh, going the wrong way. Ouch, that just hurt. No, I didn't mean to do that. I know, it's pretty heavy. I'm just gonna try to ignore him for now. And then, yeah, he'll eat those up. Thank you so much. Okay, so we're going into the next dungeon now. That was pretty quick, actually. We are in level two, Bottle Grotto. And we can't move these bottles or uh, whatever they are. I guess they are, they're not pots. So we can't quite get that one. Oh, this is where we need that. There we go. And let's go down this way. The yellow one's new. Ah, he actually runs after me. That's spooky. There we go, I got a two for one deal. And that got me a key. So I could either go to the left or go down. For right now, let's go down. It's just right here, it's convenient. Open it up. Oh boy, oh, it's a shy guy. So these guys sort of mimic our movement, so our goal is to sort of, yeah, do, ow, that didn't work. Why didn't that work, huh? Oh, there we go, I sort of have to hit him from behind. Anyways, that got us a chest, so no key this time. What's inside of this one? We get the compass. You got the compass, now you can see where the chests and the nightmare is hidden, is, are hidden. Uh, this compass has a new feature, a tone will tell you, yep, I already know all about it. It doesn't have any new info for us. So what's going on in here? Oh yeah, one of these switches. These are always cool. Ah, but this is where it gets tough. If we can find some kind of ranged attack. Oh, I don't like this guy. Ah, there we go. Got him. We'll get a piece of power for that. Running any other enemies, we should be okay. Maybe I could just, oh yeah, I can just hit it like that. All right, that's fine. And we get another key. Cool. Now can I, yeah, I can actually like stand on top of them a little bit, that's cool. Because I'm pretty sure I could like, yeah, that's what I really like about this game, is it sort of has like some cool tactics to it that some other Zelda games just don't have. And that 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 worked out pretty well for me too. So for now, yeah, I'm gonna go like that, open this up, that'll be a key. So we have two keys already, and we already used one, so I guess we had three in total. Get some extra magic powder, that's nice. Don't have to go back to the uh, the witch to get more. And that gave me a key, but on the other side. I, I can't get that from here. I can't push these, unfortunately. That's fine. What's going on in here? We could use, oh, I'm gonna ignore you guys. Oh wait, 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 I could block them. That's right, we learned that last, ow, oh, episode. Come back here, ready? Mm, gotcha. Wait, one more time, one more time. There it is. Wish that they would drop health more, op more often. That'd be a great option, I guess. Okay, I'm trying to be careful. Oh, you know what I probably have to do? I probably have to move these blocks onto the thing. I don't have the beak, though. Or maybe the beak was like a one-time thing. The beakless statue is saying something, you can't make it out. Okay, so yeah, we do need to find a new beak. Didn't know if it was like a one-time thing. Okay, real quick, real quick, push this in like that. Maybe we'll get the beak for this. Definitely possible. Oh, actually, it's a staircase downwards. Will this be another side-scrolling section? It will be, oh, that's so cool. Okay, jump for it, not bad. I love how we can look forward and back too. So what's up here? Good question. First off, some extra health I desperately need. Get rid of that bat. I just gotta be careful now. Ah, that's the opposite of careful. Okay, come on. Run, 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 run. Got it. Oh boy, that didn't do anything though. I mean, it sort of lit the room up so I know more about what I'm doing, but it, it didn't really accomplish anything weird. Oh, hey. Uh. How are you? Oh, you wanna fight, don't you? Ah, watch it. Ah, oh no, put me down, put me down. Ow, that was just not nice. 
Can I like shield you? I can't shield you, ow. Maybe I can get you to slam into the wall somehow. I don't like this. Oh, I really don't like this. Duh. This makes me not happy. Yeah. Oh, but I got him. He's falling. Whoa. There we go. That was crazy. But luckily, this does give us a teleport back. A lot of you let me know that throwing the powder isn't what activated this. It was just me standing in it. I was being a dingus. What else is new? <laughs> so we could use that to teleport to and fro from that area, but more importantly for right now, we could finally go over this way. Ow, rude. Do you think I was trying to go somewhere? Ah. Time into that is tough, but we made it out of there. Hmm. Ow. So I guess my goal is to knock you down and to get. Okay, here it is. You found the stone beak. Now to find a statue, statue to fit it into. Will do. So there wasn't too much more this way, but I'm glad I got it done. Okay, I made it. Let me go this way. I don't want that thing to catch up with me. Some of these enemies respawn. Wait, did we go down there? We did. Ah, don't squish me. Here we go. I mean, I don't know if this has anything super useful for us to know. Part of the floor is raised. Tap the shining crystal. Yep. We already know all about it. So going into here, we also know what to do. I think, yeah, there we go. And then from here, we should be doing pretty good. Ah! Okay, we're fine. Oh, I never got the key, I'm a dingus. I could have done that. <laughs> All right, let me go get the key now, because I'm undoubtedly going to need it. Whoopsies. I'm gonna have to strike that again. Run right over this way. And thank you very much, because I can't push this. Nope. So I'll have to go back around the long way. But luckily, I don't have to uh, worry about that again. Oh, this guy's trying to get me. Can you, hey, did you hit it? That's my thing to hit. Okay, I'm out of here. <laughs> See ya. <laughs> I don't have to deal with it, then I'm not gonna. So. I'm gonna try to be careful of these guys. They're not always the most pleasant. And I, I will talk to this guy, but once again, I don't know if it'll actually really get me anything. Make every block design the same, a new path will open. Yep, we already solved the puzzle. Don't worry, buddy. But they are very useful if you do get stuck. So I do appreciate that. So it looks like everything up to this point we've completed. If we take a look at the map, definitely looks like it. So I guess we just have to move this way from the mini boss. So I guess I could have used the teleporter, but I was already this far anyways. I don't think it matters too much. There we go. Run up here or climb or whatever and grab this health. Thank you. Oh, I do have to, no I don't. I thought I had to light these up to open the door, but I'm good. So I don't think there's anything else we have to worry about except for just going in here. Hmm. Oh, you know what? Definitely there must be something we get in this one where we can throw stuff. First, defeat the imprisoned Pole's voice. Last, skeletal Stolfos. Okay, so maybe an order of enemies I need to defeat in a room? So first, Pole's voice, whatever that is, and then the Stolfos, which are the skeleton things I know. And what's in here? It's the map! Okay, at last you got the map, press minus to look at it, we'll do that right now. And as you can see, there's still quite a while to go. Gonna be a bit of a challenge, especially when I make silly moves like that. Come on. So I don't have a key for that. But maybe I get a key in here, because uh, not what I wanted. Because if not, I don't know where to go. Just money. Oh no, I have a key. Never mind, I'm being a dingus. <laughs> I have one key I can use. And, oh no, booze. So there's more Mario enemies. Ow, I thought that that would stop if I, there, there they go. I thought that would stop if I looked at them. Can I beat them up? No. But I do get another chest for this one. Let's hope this is good. But there's more Mario enemies in this game than there are Zelda enemies, it seems. Whoa, look at this. You found the power bracelet. Uh, bracelet. At last, you can pick up pots and stones. They are pots, they're not bottles. Look at this. 
Easy peasy. We're gonna pick up every single pot around here. Every single one of them. Just for fun. Oh, gives me some extra health. See, it's worth it. So I, I need to go on this side first, right? And I can actually get around much easier with that, so that's great. Hmm. Got some extra health. And then over this way. I think, yeah, we can also pick up stones with this now too, so this is really gonna push us ahead of exploring the main overworld. That'll be cool. And we get another key, surprise, surprise. I'll take it. So I can swing at this one more time. I don't know which way is best for now. Oh, I didn't even see you. Get off of me. For now, this way seems just the same as the other way. Can you stop that? You're being not nice. There we go. Okay, definitely get this guy before he gets me. And I have a key for this door, but I can also go down here. Ah, watch it. Got him. So they actually work a lot like the Moblins. Oh, this is the room. Okay, so the the pole's voice, for whatever reason, is, oh, this is gonna be tough, actually. I need to find which one I can push, because there's gotta be one I can push. There we go. I gotta first defeat this little thing, if I can. I don't know how they beat it. Huh. Oh, powder, probably. Okay, now it's weak, or not. I don't know what's, I gotta throw it, I gotta throw it. No, come on, dude, stop, you're being such a jerk. No? I don't know what to do. Okay, I'll come back to this room. There's something you can do here. You're supposed to defeat the bunny, the bat, and the, the, the skeleton, as far as I remember. Ah! Oh, okay, that actually worked out pretty well. <laughs> that was total luck. I didn't realize this was gonna be piranha plants. Can I go down the pipes? I guess I should try. Not this one. <laughs> These Goombas though, they look like they know what they know what they're up to, you know? Pretty evil. Can't go down that way. Okay, running back over here. Can't go down this pipe either. Good to check all that stuff though. Okay, so going down here. What do we got? Oh, we're back here now. It's all come full circle. Unfortunately, there isn't too much for me around here. I sort of want to go back. Yeah, okay, wait. So let's take, check out the map. I'm right here. It brings me back over this way. And then I can get down here if I can find the chest. But I also have a key so I can go up there and go to the right. So maybe we should figure that out next is the key room. Might be my best bet. Because I don't know how to destroy that one guy. I was able to stop him a little bit with the powder. Do I really have anything else? Or maybe I need to like throw a pot at him. Maybe that's the idea. Yeah, that's it. All right. He thinks he's tough until he gets a pot thrown at him. And that was correct. Look at that. Very cool. Okay, well, I'm glad I figured that out. We were able to just listen to the owl and he gave us the answer. And we get the nightmare key. So we'll need that to get through more stuff. But for right now, I gotta go this way. What are we going to find in this room? Another one of these guys. Bah, got him. Ooh, and we get a piece of power. I wonder if that's enough to defeat the little bunnies. I don't think so. Yeah, they're still like undefeatable. Nice, got him. And that's a staircase downwards. All right, well, I think that helps lead to the next room that we have to go to. I can only imagine. Oh, fairy, too. That's where I really wish I had a bottle. If you have a bottle, you can bottle the fairy and then only have to use it when you need it instead of picking it up while it's there. Anyways. Oh, I remember this one. I think I need to put the pots on certain platforms where they raise back up. Yeah, so that'll be interesting. I don't quite need to do that just yet. But yeah, over this way, I do. Is there a way just to put it down gently? No. <laughs> I just also need that to be helping me out. And then we'll just have to move quick. Ready? He's like, oh, too heavy. Ha, ah, there we go. We made it. See ya. Oh, and here we are, really. 
No, we're missing some rooms. No, I see that's where the boss leads to. But I also missed something, oh yeah, back here. We'll get that then. We'll go back, but I don't wanna go all the way back right now. We'll go back there in just a second. Like once I'm done with it, I'll, I'll go back in there. For right now, let's just go fight the boss. I'm in a perfect position for it. Uh, oh, it's another pot. Can we just throw it and win? Whoa. Ah, oh, it's a clown! It's like a clown genie. <laughs> I'm your bad guy this time. <laughs> oh no, it's the genie. Genie clown, I don't like him. He was creepy in the original too. Okay, let's try this out. Uh, hey, no, watch it. What do I gotta do for him? I don't know. Swing at him. Oh, I can pick it up. Oh, I can't move, but I'm still all right. Your little sword won't break this bottle. Even the walls here look tougher than that dinky thing. Oh, the walls, huh? Let's see about that. Oh, that looks like it hurt. So I can't swipe at you yet. <laughs> yeah, you can't hurt me as long as I have my bottle. Okay, I get it, throw your bottle. He's, he's making it really obvious. That's okay, Whoa. Hey, watch that. Luckily, the jumping does help sort of dodge that stuff. Okay, he's gonna hide again. No, no, oh, he's not. Okay, now he is. Ha! Oh, it's getting cracked up. Which is a lot more cracking up than you're making me laugh. This is not that funny for being a clown. Oh boy. Come on, come on. Okay, we just gotta swing at it again. Okay, lift it up and give it a toss. Perfect, we got it. Now what? Oh, you broke my bottle. Why, you? You make me hopping mad. Oh gosh, what do we do now? Whoa, you're spinning. I thought that was gonna be the end of it. Oh, I'm dizzy, I'm dizzy, I'm dizzy. Okay, get him. I got him, but he got me. Be careful, be careful. Where is he gonna be? Oh, he got me again. Okay, I gotta stop swinging at him with the spinny swing because that makes me slower. Ah, that one, like, went right for me though. That's really tough to move away from. Come on, come on. No, not happening this time. Ah, got him! There we go, see you, Mr. Clown! And everyone got to make a wish for being a genie and everything. That was more of like a nightmare. Anyways, we get a full heart for defeating him, of course, which puts us up to six hearts already. We're doing pretty good with that. Okay, so our health has been refilled as well. And we get ourselves our second instrument. It's some kind of horn. You got the conch horn. Well, that's, that, that's sort of obvious now that I think about it. Wow, it's beautiful. Prairie, prairie. So just like last time, I was like, swamp, just go into the swamp. <laughs> the prairie is waiting. We now need to go to the prairie in the next episode to get to the next dungeon. That's gonna be cool, because now we have the ability to throw rocks and stuff, but we're not quite done inside the Kapanga swamp. We're just gonna change times like, alrighty. Yep, level two bottle grotto. I need to grab this chest, so let's do it. What's inside? It is gonna be a purple rupee. You got 50 rupees, very nice. Now it's fully 100% complete as far as I can tell, so that's awesome. You guys can let me know if I missed anything. But yeah, I had a lot of fun in today's episode. You eat those up, thank you, buddy. Uh, before I go all the, all the way over there next episode, I do want to, um, probably go back to town next episode, but that's mostly gonna wrap it up for today's episode. I don't think of too much more I can do at the moment. So yeah, with that being said, that is gonna wrap it up for today's episode of The Legend of Zelda, Link's Awakening. Before you go, be sure to comment, Bow Wow Zebra, so you have watched at the end of the URA Zebra Tastic viewer. Also subscribe to join the Zebra Herd. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.